Hey y'all, it's Tiffany, the HCG Housewife. Today is May the 18th, 2012. I'm on round four. P2, very low calorie, day 33. And I'm freaking pissed. I had a goose egg today. I was so confident that I was staying pop. Oh, sorry for shaking. I was staying pop and everything, and I didn't go down anymore. So I'm wondering, am I going to have to skip meals like I did the last couple of days just to go down? Well, that's not going to be an option because I get so hungry and my blood, my, my blood pressure, my blood sugar seems to like plummet when I don't eat my meals. Um, I, you know, I, I feel um, shaky or woozy and dizzy kind of feeling. So, I, that's really just not an option for me. I don't like feeling that way. Um, so, I'm just going to, I'm going to stick it out and hopefully y'all go down a little bit further. Uh, now, I'm not in a hurry to end P2. Of course, we're always in a hurry, but I'm not, I'm not going to be in a hurry to end P2, except for the fact that Memorial Day is coming up and um, we may be, I don't know if we're going to a barbecue for um, an uncle I have that has been very ill. I think I told you guys about him before. He, um, they found out in, I guess it was February, that he had, um, he just started feeling bad and went to the doctor and found out he had lung cancer and several tumors on his lungs and his brain. And he, you know, he went through surgeries and, you know, it was a roller coaster and everything. Finally, he got to come home and he's, Feeling about as good as you can expect, and um, I, rumor has it there's going to be a barbecue for him um, around Memorial Day, so I'll either have to do an interruption, or I, I just don't know how I can go to a family barbecue and stick to this. I mean, of course I can have, um, if we have hamburgers, I can have just the meat, but it's going to be fatty, so, so I think I'd just do a plain interruption and just eat as close to on protocol as I could, um, or, you know, do P3 or whatever. Cause you know, you go to a barbecue, you can do P3, but staying on P2 protocol would be really tough. Um, so anyway, that's kind of a concern I'm having. And I guess we'll kind of decide that this, this week. Um, and then I'll have to plan my, I've never done an interruption. Um, I've just always <laughs> ended my rounds. But anyway, um, good thing today, I, you can't really see it. Well, I'm not going to show you because there's no way you'd see it. Um, wearing one of my sundresses that didn't fit. Um, of course, I wear a sweater with it because I don't like my arms. But um, So that's exciting to me. So that means my other ones probably fit too. Um, the last time I remember wearing this is when we went to San Francisco back in 2010 in, the, in June. And I remember I wore it the first day I was there, and it was chilly, and I was walking walking through a, like a little, um, my husband was working, so I was kind of, I stuck without a car the first day, and I was walking down the street, you know, through a little shopping, outside shopping center, and got a look at myself in the, the um, what's that, the... Um, The window. I couldn't think of what I was saying. I got to look at myself through the window, and the wind just blew just right, and it just, it was so unflattering, and it was really uncomfortable, too. So, I put it in my suitcase, and then when I got home, I kind of threw it in the top of my closet and forgot about it. And when I was in San Francisco, I had to go shopping because I brought sundresses and it was a little too chilly. And I remember when I went shopping, all the clothes I was getting were bigger sizes. So that was like the last little holding on I was doing to, um, I mean, of course I'd already gained weight, but it was like, that was like the point of no return. I had to, um, I had to just give up the sun, you know, the sun, the smaller sundresses and stuff. So I'm excited that that's fitting. Um, also, I'm excited because we're going to the water park, finally. It's going to be chilly, but it opened last week, and it was really chilly, and we had other plans, so we didn't go. But um, I'm actually going twice because my niece Jordan, 
I told her we could go, and then my brother asked if we wanted to, because they got season, my brother and his wife got season passes as well, and asked if we wanted to go this weekend, and I said yes to both, and then neither one of them could go on the same day. My brother couldn't go on Saturday, my niece can't go on Sunday, so I ended up going twice. Um, so I'm excited to get in, I have to go run some errands and buy some things for dinner tonight and for the kids when they're over here this weekend. So, um, oh, that's going to be a test because they eat so much junk and I know they're going to want waffles tomorrow morning. So uh, I'm going to have to try to get through that one. Um, I was hoping to be done with P3 by this point so I could have at least some sausage and eggs for breakfast when they are having their waffles this through the summer. But um, anyway, I'm just going to have to stick, I'm just going to have to, hope, you know, stick, stick it out. I have my grapefruit that I do enjoy. I do enjoy my grapefruit, but it's easy to enjoy it when you're the only one here eating as opposed to when everybody's having either some sugary cereal or Pop-Tarts and stuff like that. But I'm not going to deny them. I don't want them to come over and say, oh, you have nothing in your house to eat, which they used to do that before I started couponing, and then I had too much in my house to eat. Um, but anyway, so um, what was I saying? I was get back to my point. Hmm. Oh, so the, anyway, they're coming over, and um, I'm going to – oh, after I go to the store, I was going to get into my suitcase bin, my um, swimsuit bin, and get out and see which ones I want to wear tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I know I still won't look the best in them, but I'll look better than I did last year. So maybe those swimsuits that were uncomfortable last year because I bought the biggest size. At, I think I got one at Walmart that I really liked, and I had to get the biggest size they had, and it really didn't fit right. I mean, I had rolls hanging over the top of it. So I'm excited to try that on and see if it looks better this year. Um, anyway, I'm worried about how I'm going to do with eating while I'm out there. I'll bring, we can't bring food in, but I can always go to my car. I'm going to bring an apple. Well, I'm going to have my breakfast before I go. And um, depend, I may have lunch before I go, depending on um, how early they get up. Of course, they always say, oh, we're going to go early. And then my niece and her friends just sleep. They stay up too late and sleep too late, which is fine with me. But, um, anyway, I forget what I was going to say. Again, I'm rambling. Oh, I'm going to have something before I go, and then I'll have an apple. I'll bring a, probably a couple of apples to have while I'm out there. Um, maybe I'll bring some baked chicken just to have in the cooler, because that's, that's something that I can, that I can do. And cold baked chicken's good, so, and that's, that protein really helps. So, um. I think I'll do okay. I've done low carb out there before, and it usually, I start the summer out thinking, okay, I'm going to be good this summer. I'm going to do low carb. By the middle of the summer, I get some popcorn because it's something that they have there that's really easy to get and cheap. And by the end of the summer, we're over bringing our own lunch and we're getting the chicken nuggets and the french fries. <laughs> but um, this year, I'm going to have to not do that because I don't want to be 270 pounds like I was last year. So anyway, I'm going to let you go, and I hope everybody has a great day, and um, happy losses. I need to start saying that again so, we, so, I, can, so I can have happy losses. Um, talk to you later. Bye-bye.